Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this stream of Hearts of Iron 4, where we are playing as the United States. And we are about to do, well, we, no, we are about to declare war on the Mexican Soviet Republic, because they dared nationalize their oil. And the specific oil that they nationalized was the Californian Standard Oil, or the Standard Oil of California. And the problem is... The Standard Oil of California is basically our boss man. Uh, that, that, that is his background. So he was like, um, no, and also, no. So we've been setting up our fleet, which is currently uh, in the process of deploying. That's a point, actually. We haven't set up our submarines. We should probably do that. Convoy raiding. One, two, three, four, five. Doubt that we'll need to do more than that with you. And then we still need to set up the strike forces, but that can wait just a moment because we haven't actually attached those to anything yet. <clears throat> so we're going to be killing the person we just raided. Yeah, absolutely. This is feedback gaming down in Mexican Soviet Republic. Did he actually go Soviet? I must admit I went off and had my dinner, so I wasn't watching all of it. Do 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 do. What's going on? We are. Am I saving my power for something at the moment? Yes, we were going to save it to try and get out of disturbed isol undisturbed isolation when we go to war. Uh, the other question that I have is how long does my CB last? It doesn't say. Well, I should probably use it sooner rather than later. Although my armies are still on the move going down in there into the south. Uh, do we have much... Uh, many resources we do also the other thing I have never checked is to see what my templates like so we have artillery we have engineers Orders. and you are all infantry divisions okay that's good so actually do we know if any of them are National Guard we need a different icon for National Guard National Guard can be that Commands. crap they're all National Guard okay Ready, sir. Let's put you two in that one. Yes, so it's only going to be four divisions attacking into this. Well, actually, as soon as you move into there, they're cut off, so that's not a problem. I think I am going to add... Yes, sir. I'm going to make these three into National Guard units. Which is going to mean that they're going to be under-trained. The National Guard is going to be my regular infantry force. In which case, we will... Ah, we'll keep them as the rockets, fine. Is there anything else we want to add? Well, we will want to have field hospitals and we will want to have recon. Can we afford this? Yes. 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 Now, unfortunately, the combat width is going to be over, so it's not going to be hugely... Efficient. I really should have checked that before we actually went to war, but never mind. <clears throat> and then cavalry divisions are just horses, and then the armored division is light tanks and motorized. But I'm going to be working towards getting medium tanks, and in fact it's 39, so we should start researching that as soon as possible. Okay. Um, yes, how long is it going to take you to get your plans together? A while. Also, you have lost experience, but hopefully you'll gain some during the conflict here. Hey, Fort Minor. Am I still doing the CSA? I don't know. Depends if it ever triggers. Impose Yankee imperialism. No, 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 no. You, you don't understand how this works. Basically what happens is I declare war on you and then you become mine. Ah, oh, they fortified that one province. Damn. Alright, let's do this. Command. Your plans are almost finished. One more day. That'll do. Support Rock Island. That is the artillery boost. Now we can ally with the silver shirts. Here we go. 
Senators and representatives will support the government. Intimidate political opponents becomes available. We lose stability. This will move us closer to a civil war. And fascism becomes more popular. I'm not going to do it just yet. We're going to wait a little bit longer. Let's get the tank experiment. Well, that's 70 days. So be it. Attention. All right, I think we're done. Let's fight them. Begin, begin. Oh, wow. Our units are pretty effective. The center speaks out against government policy. A center has given an interview in a major newspaper saying that you can no longer support the foolish and dangerous policies of President Al London. How dare you, sir? How dare you? And you guys have also got your gear together, so we're going to put you into a strike force. Although, actually, let's have you based out of San Diego. Let's have you based out of Panama. Actually, do we have any bigger ports in, like, Puerto Rico? No, Panama's actually bigger. We'll still put you in Puerto Rico. And then you can be based out of Virginia. So I think that my Puerto Rico port should get a little bit bigger. I think we're level 5. Alright. So war has been declared, so I should now be... Nope, I still can't get rid... Yes, I can. Is that really the only one I can go for? Oh, right, because we need more support. But this is going to allow me to get out of undisturbed isolation, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Perfect. And that's going to be a huge boost, actually. And then after this, we're going to need war support. Unfortunately, because this is an offensive war, yeah, we're not going to have a lot. Because I can't be fighting a war without any tea supplies. It's unacceptable. Oops. Where's the spoon? This is payback for the Alamo. Hey, mystery. And everyone else. Hello, hello, hello. How are you all doing this fine evening? Oh, yeah. Do we have transcoding? Because I know we didn't earlier. Is it possible to give the Navy short bombardment missions? It is, but I think those only work when you're actually doing a naval invasion. Otherwise, it doesn't know where to put the ships. And it doesn't look like we need them either. Now watch as Mexico sinks all the tea shipments. Well, that's America's thing. Transcoding is a go. Okay, cool. Huzzah! Heresy Penguin, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the Maudlings. Were you really not a member already? That seems surprising. Uh, Imperial Kwantung Territories declared war on Zibai San Ma. Imperial Territory. Oh, is that this bit? It is. Oh, are you independent now? You are. Interesting. So Manchuko stayed fascist. And split away from Japan. Huzzah! Patrick, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. That was two months. Okay. I thought so. I was like, I'm sure you were before. So, thank you both for the uh, pr Prime subs. Appreciate that support. German Empire claims a memo with German forces on the border poised to attack. Lithuania is given in to German ultimatum, demanding the surrender of the Prussian territory of memo. Really? That's still available? Naval rearmament. Uh-oh. I think they are going to go after Britain. Naval rearmament. Naval effort. Expand dockyards. Focus on the true enemy. Does that require... It requires either. Okay. Well, 
Well, so far this assault in Mexico has gone quite well. I wonder why this is so easy. Mexican forces have 131 defensive. 75 organization. We only have 56. We actually have less org than they do. This might just be early advances thanks to preparation bonuses. Okay, and that's a fail. Naval battle. No convoys. Trying to import gear and I'm like, no! You may not do this. And I should probably get some National Guard divisions in training. Yeah, let's do it. We'll get ten. Shortage of support equipment, but we are going to be producing everything else. And we do have light tanks available now, but I really want to get medium tanks. And also I just realized that Japan has closed its economy. Oh, that's because that's evil Japan, not good guy Japan. Let's buy from good guy Japan. And even one shot's fine. And we should also get a tank designer. So we can get Chrysler, which would give us reliability and soft attack. Detroit? Wow. Twin no, we would require main battle tanks for that one. Although, we're currently doing tank experiments. And I believe the main battle tanks is soon after. Yes, it is. These are design companies. I didn't realize there was a design company. So we could get just a huge number of medium tanks developed. So we probably do want to go with Detroit for that. Okay. I'm okay to wait. We really need to get more war support. Actually, one of the other things we can do now... Propaganda? Requires 50% more tension. Alright, never mind then. Oh, counterattack. <laughs> of course there's a counterattack, because are you noticing what's missing here? Because I certainly am. Special forces. Alright, so we got the special forces done. I'm going to switch to armor at this point. And we're going to research the M3 Lee. So the Detroit tanks are going to be with the 41 Shermans. No, I'm going to hold off on the 39 tank. We're instead going to get the M1 Thompsons. And we have some free military factories. Well, one military factory. We need more support equipment, so we're going to grab some more support equipment. <laughs> Fascism besties, I'm pretty sure I'm on some kind of list now. Yeah, you probably are. Defeated. Good. Well, the attack, which was supposed to be coming straight down here, hasn't exactly done very well. Earhart wants to enlist. An American, as America mobilizes for war, we have received an unusual request. Amelia Earhart, the famous aviator who successfully circumnavigated the globe not long ago, wishes to enlist in the Army Air Corps as a fighter pilot. She has demonstrated considerable skill in mock dog fights, but there are still many within the military establishment who frown on the idea of having a woman flying combat missions. Should we make an exception in her case and let her join? And also, Japan just won. Uh, yeah, we need a... Amelia Revenant Earhart becomes a flying ace. And I've heard that she's quite good. Um. Yes. Fighter interceptor. Max air speed plus 8. Air attack plus 10. Agility plus 15. I mean, she's probably going to die super quickly because air aces always seem to die super quickly. But I will add you to my fighter group. Alright. 
So your job is then going to be go go for Mexico City. Let's grab this and attach you to that. Because we're trying to keep them all pocketed up here so we have a clearer shot from Mexico City as possible. There is method behind my madness. Uh, what's the war score like here? Not amazing. They've lost 6,000, they've lost 14. That's fine. We definitely could do with a couple more divisions out on the field. It's going to be like 140 days before I can actually get my Detroit tanks sorted. Oh well. All in. And you've still got loads of planning prep yes, ready. So far, so good. Here's the attack coming for this, and that's going to be the cutoff that I was looking for. The recent round of hearings in the House Committee on the Ways and Means has resulted in a report crediting the President's policies with the major improvements. 50 representatives join us. We own the house. 100% of the house supports us. That's right, we own you. Am I doing the Civil War? Uh, I don't know. It depends on whether the Civil War does us. that off and you guys are entirely responsible for pushing down Baja California how many divisions does Mexico actually have 22 three military factories ouch so all the damage that their units are taking right now that's basically permanent interesting Iraqi Republic was puppeted. Puppeted, really? Oh, of course, and you went after Iran as well. So Britain's fighting Iraq and Iran. Um, I think what I'd like to do is modify your template a little bit further. Could I add some artillery to you? Yes. Short answer. Another thing I want to do is just remove these. That's three units. I'm just going to add them here. Just so in the future I have another column to play with. That I can do. So we're going to add a little bit more artillery to our forces. We're probably going to go with either two artillery or uh, four artillery. I haven't decided yet. Quite a lot of firepower, though. Imperial Kwantung territories declared war on China, so Manchuria is going all out here. And the Soviets are currently claiming stuff on them. That's probably not going to end very well. Meanwhile, the state of Japan, also known as Democratic Japan. State of Japan sounds a lot more like Fascist Japan. Is doing what? Armor divisions. Wow, they've gone all the way down that way. They're going to have a fairly decent military, although Korea did get independence, as did Manchukuo. Can I go over the depth versus width on troop design? Uh, it's not so much depth versus width. It's entirely width based. So basically, whenever you're in a fight, and I can actually show you exactly what this means, there is a certain amount of width uh, on every battle. So for every one uh, province versus one province that's going on, you have a combat width of 80, which is then increased for every multiple going after the system. Oh, God damn it. Sorry, just give me a second here. You've deleted yet another front. Like, why are you so useless? Really dislike the here. Uh, whoops. Ready. Oh, sign here. And you. Sign here. Yes, Those sir. go here. Can you stop cancelling bloody front lines? Right, what was I saying? Combat width. So the combat width is 80, so you want to have as many units with multiples leading up to 80. So for example, 
We're actually using a really inefficient design right now. I would not recommend this. Instead, I would recommend your early divisions look something like this, because the combat width is 20, meaning that four of these infantry divisions at a time can be fighting, which means that anyone that gets injured can basically be rotated out and the battle will continue. If you want to hit harder um, with one division, then you want a combat width of 40. Uh, that means it will probably stay in the battle for longer, but if it does get defeated, then it's going to be more difficult to rotate in another unit. And if you really want to have a very hard-hitting division, which is rather risky, you can theoretically go all the way up to 80, but I would not recommend it. So basically, you want to have something which can divide into 80. So combat width of 10 will mean lots of small divisions which can rotate rapidly, so you definitely want radio and possibly signal divisions for that. Or if you're just a small country. 20 is kind of the standard, that's what I generally go for. 40 if you're one of the larger, harder hitting nations like the US or Germany can work and also for like um, tank divisions you might want to go for a 40 just to really smash them uh, with that one unit. Have I tried 26 with divisions 3 times 26 is 78? I haven't so I'd rather go with 4 times 20. But I will be upgrading the National Guard over time. I mean, right now we're 27, which is not efficient at all. Eventually this will be a 40, as I have the equipment to add to them. That was actually my bad. I should have been upgrading them over time. So here, we're attacking from multiple directions, I think. No, it's still 80. I think from every other province engaged in the fight, it increases by another 80. Uh, we just defeated them, so I can't show you. In fact, I'll show you here. You attack that. And you two support this, which you are doing now. Combat width is 120. So it adds 40 for every additional province. So yeah, the, the golden rule really is 10 width, 20 width, 40 width, 80 if you absolutely have to, though I wouldn't recommend it. 20 to 40 is like the best option. Tens are a bit small. Your units won't stand up in a fight for very long. And why are we losing this? I just retook a freaking port. In fact, no, it's not San Diego. It's fine. Orders. Can I support this, please? All right, we just got tank experiments, which are over here. And we are going to get main battle tanks. I don't tend to use tank destroyers. Experience in the field has clearly shown that a tank must be able to perform a large number of tasks, from infantry support to fighting enemy tanks. Designing vehicles to meet these needs allows us to streamline production. Orders. All right, so we just cleared that, which means that all of those units should be reassigned to this. And there's only one guy here. <coughs> Am I using the Navy and the Air Force? I am indeed. Already set up. Spur support. See, we're sinking convoys. Our next doctrine is going to be overwhelming firepower. More line infantry soft attack. Go on then. Ooh, and civilian factories are done. Excellent. Uh, right, let's just continue getting the infrastructure out. You definitely want some. You. Hello. It's not working. That was weird. Shift wasn't working for some reason, then suddenly it was. Let's do this. These ones don't matter as much. Although I am actually going to want to upgrade you so that we can keep um, supply coming through. And then also Baja California can do with a bit. And we really need to be developing war support somehow.
Except there doesn't seem to be any way of doing propaganda right now. Still here. Still requires 50% of our attention. Well, we might reach that. I guess you can only do propaganda in a defensive war. Maybe that's what it is. Italy has declared war on France. Oh ho. That is the Second World War beginning right there. Although, the majority of Britain's forces right now are going to be off fighting in Iran. As will the French. Now the benefit... Well, this is just going to be one massive blood fest. Because there's no Maginot to defend. There's not going to be a German invasion. Because Germany is non-aligned. They renounced their fascist ways. And left it to us to do. Yeah, I know I could spend this, but I'm also aware that I need to upgrade my army templates, and I still need to create a tank template. So I'm saving experience for the moment. Iran has joined the Novus Imperium Romanum. Interesting. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to rush from Mexico City. Well, we could. It would just be risky. And how much is Mexico worth? 25. Yeah, we haven't really done enough damage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a yes, U-Lot. I'm going to create another line here, which is just going to be you attacking. Because we can get multiple angles, it should be successful. Menguko has capat capitulated. Manguko is not Manchuko. Manguko was this one, which I think was a puppet of Manchuko. Oh, convoy is dead. Good. And also technology. So we just got... Construction, I think. So let's get concentrated industry. Oh, they brought in reinforcements. Right. And you guys, please do feel free to move. I'd kind of like to position you somewhere else. In fact, that one division seems like he's disappeared, run away. Let's assign these guys down to that bit. And please use the railway. Thank you. Nope, there's one division still down here. Curses. Although it looks like the cavalry can be beat him. So, go cavalry. Advanced machine tools, glorious. I'm not going to bother with the resource extraction. I don't think we need it. We could go with decimetric radar. I'm already getting those. Don't need any of that stuff. Let's get field hospital tools. Lose as little manpower during this war as possible. Center speaks out against government policy. He'll come running back soon enough. Ooh, oh, 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 go, 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 go! Yoink. Thanks for the capital. And suddenly Mexico is looking a whole lot more shaky. Meanwhile, you're attacking down here. And you are actually doing a very good job of just eradicating that unit. Yeah, we got and got off. Move out! But you are on a supply point, so you shouldn't run out of supply there. But I think what I would like to see is for us to secure this position here. Just one guy will do. Durango's next. Durango's a 10 as well. Crikey. Um, well, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel your orders right now. All of them. Because I want your entire line 